how do you counter critics from more traditional statistical backgrounds that this is not the way that these data should be analyzed? Yeah, I think a, a good counter to that is that we um, marry the statistical analysis techniques with these new techniques. And so um, a lot of the, the uh, sentiment analysis that was done uh, you know, 10 years ago would just be focused on a binary classification, positive or negative. And in it, you know, it's, it's one or the other. And what we've done in our analysis is we've actually created a numerical rating for the sentiment. So it gives you a, a kind of a, a continuum that value, and it's normalized by the amount of words, and, and it's using mathematical techniques and algorithms to give us a number that we can, we can use. And the idea about this is the same idea with statistics. Once we get a large enough sample, once we get the power in our data, we're able to apply that algorithm and look at those numbers and create a, uh, an average and a standard deviation that accommodates for situations where we have miscoded values, we have items of sarcasm or other things that might be outliers. We have a large enough bulk of things that are correctly coded and that are giving numerical values that they outweigh those you know, isolated um, incidents. And if we lock in that algorithm, we lock in that methodology, and we're applying it consistently over time as we get new results in, we can still marry up our analyses with traditional statistical techniques, like, for example, an unbalanced ANOVA, where we can say, you know, in general, the sentiment score that we're receiving is 2.25 out of 100,000 reviews that people have written. Now we're making a change based on what we've you know, mine this data, and we found that these are the things we could modify. So as of this date, we're implementing a change to our service or product. Now, you know, several months later, we review the reviews, we apply that same sentiment analysis, that locked-in algorithm, and we find that we have a, a new average and a new standard deviation. We compare that using an analysis of variance to the other one, and we find out that they're statistically different. So I think there's been kind of an artificial conflict that's been uh, sowed over time about the unstructured data analysis and big data techniques versus st traditional statistical uh, methods. I think it's not an either or. It's an idea about marrying the two together and still using the foundations of statistics, but applying them to what we're taking uh, from unstructured data and turning it into quantitative data.